Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the power of electrical components. We saw the idea of power when we looked at energy transfer. Remember that power is the rate at which energy is transferred. The unit of power is the watt and one watt is an energy transfer of one joule per second. Now over the course of this topic we've seen that energy is transferred in electrical circuits such as this one. The potential difference of 10 volts across the resistor tells us that 10 joules of energy are transferred per coulomb of charge passing through the resistor. And the current of 1 ampere tells us that 1 coulomb of charge is flowing every second. Now if we know both the potential difference across a component and the current flowing through it, then we can calculate the power of the component using this equation. The power in watts equals the potential difference in volts multiplied by the current in amperes. And you need to learn this equation as you're not giving it in the exam. Here's a triangle for the equation if you prefer to use these. So here's a question for you to try. Calculate the power of the resistor. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, so the power is the potential difference multiplied by the current. We've got a potential difference of 50 volts across the resistor and a current of 0.2 amperes. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a power of 10 watts. Here's another question for you. Calculate the power of resistor A. Pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, in this circuit we've got two resistors in series. Now, the first thing we need to do is work out the potential difference across resistor A. Remember that potential difference is shared between components in series. The total potential difference across the cell is 20 volts. That means that the total potential difference across both resistors is also 20 volts. Resistor B has a potential difference of 15 volts, so resistor A must have a potential difference of 5 volts. The current passing through the circuit is 0.5 amperes. The power is a potential difference multiplied by the current. Multiplying 5 by 0.5 gives us a power of 2.5 watts, and that's our final answer. Now, if we know the current through a component and the resistance of a component, then we can calculate the power using this equation. The power equals the current squared multiplied by the resistance. And again, you're not given this in the exam, so you do need to learn it. Here's a triangle if you prefer to use that. So here's a question for you to try. Calculate the power of the resistor. Pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, so the power equals the current squared multiplied by the resistance. The current is 0.4 amperes and the resistance is 50 ohms. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a power of 8 watts, and that's our final answer. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on calculating power in circuits in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to calculate the power of electrical components. Music